Right, good morning, welcome back. Took the big Suzuki for its maiden voyage yesterday. Absolutely fabulous thrash around the lanes. Seriously enjoyed that and I hope you enjoyed the video. Now I discovered a small problem with the front brakes. It's something that I've had on a few bikes over the years and I did post a video on how to cure it 11 long years ago and it's still relevant today. So I'll show you what's up and how to put it right. Right, the symptom is when you apply the brakes, I'm getting an inconsistent braking force. It's like it's lurching under braking, not a nice smooth braking force. Now that's not to be confused with a buckled disc. If one of the discs is buckled, the lever itself will pulse in and out and it's not happening, it's dead solid, no problem. But it's the actual braking force, the slowing down force is lurching like this. And that's caused when the brake bobbins themselves, that's these little discs that hold the carrier and the rotor together, they're all jammed up with brake dust and they won't allow the disc to centralize perfectly between the pads. So effectively you get this lurching feel. And all you need to do is take some brake cleaner, squirt it in around these brake bobbins, clean them out, get a nut and bolt through the center and turn them to rotate all that muck out of there, wash it all out, clean them up and they will centralize perfectly again and your braking force will go back to being nice and smooth and consistent. Effectively, it's just maintenance and cleaning. So let's do it. Nine mil hole, eight mil bolt, eight mil nut, something to drive it. Right, to set a baseline, the way they should be is that you should be able to get hold of these bobbins with your fingers and move them. They shouldn't rattle around or spin, but you should be able to twist them with your fingers and they shouldn't make any noise, but listen. They're nasty. They're, they're all creaking because they're full up with solid lumpy brake dust. So as I said, bit brake cleaner, get the nut and bolt, pop the bolt in, put the nut on the back, rotate in a doing up direction and it takes the bobbin with it as you can see and then just squirt away with the brake cleaner and wash it out. Nice and free. And once it's clean, it rotates silently and also dead easy. No resistance whatsoever. Happy. Just 19 more to do. Right, another secondary proof that this is exactly what the problem is. Once you've cleaned one, get hold of the disc rotor and in a rotating motion, same direction as the wheel, give it a wiggle and there should be about a millimeter of rotational click backs and forwards. The outer rotor ring should move independently of the inner carrier and the bobbins should allow that to happen. And there we are, I've got about 0.8 of a mil of movement there and that's correct but let's check the other side I haven't cleaned yet that one <laughs> rock solid no movement at all so let's clean that one
Right, there we are, a simple domestic cleaning task. Do it every now and again. If you need to know whether it needs doing or not and you're not getting the oscillating braking force and you're not sure, get hold of the disc and see if it rotates as it should over its carrier. If that's a little bit gritty or a bit jammed up, give them a clean like this. Now use proper brake cleaner. I think that's obvious, don't use anything else. And don't apply anything to the bobbins to try and keep them mobile. It's not necessary. Anything you put on there could migrate out onto the braking surface. And at the same time, it could attract brake dust and jam up all the sooner. They don't need lubricating. They just need cleaning regularly. I'll see you next time.